Hi, my name is Todd Bacchisto. Welcome to Lesson 3, Lecture 2 of Geospatial Intelligence and Geospatial Revolution. This lecture we're going to talk about GeoInt data sources. GeoInt data are collected both openly and covertly. Covertly is secretly, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Data collection covertly can be considered closed source, and that's the term we'll use throughout this. Some intelligence collection must remain covert or secret as their disclosure could jeopardize the individuals involved with the collection, maybe the technical means of collection, or the subject that's being collected about. Open source data or, or information that is widely available may be incomplete or inaccurate and may require another source, like closed source data, to complete the picture. So they really do work together, the great synergism between them. Open source information and open source software are not the same thing. These are terms that are often confused, and particularly within the intelligence community. Open source software is computer code made available with a license in which the copyright holder provides the rights to study, change, or redistribute the software. Open source information is any type of information that is lawfully and ethically gathered about something. It typically comes from publicly available sources. Let's examine the term publicly available in a little more detail. Publicly available sources are data, facts, instructions, other material published or broadcast for public consumption. They are available on request to members of the, the general public. They can be lawfully seen or heard by any casual observer. It can also be made available at a public meeting. Social media is a great source for open source information. Social media are those websites and applications enable users to create and share information. Examples are Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. A world of information, a wealth of information can be found at those sites, but there's many others. Social media is helpful to intelligence agency monitoring world crisis and even track terrorist groups. It can be used to look at trends. It can be used to signify warning signs of potential national crises are happening. Social media postings can also define geographic areas of an event. One of the attractions of open source information is a perception that it's easily collected with no accountability. This is incorrect. In some areas of the world, information must be collected for a legitimate purpose and need. Some European countries have incorporated the European Convention of Human Rights into their legislation. Under the convention, a search that engages private life issues must meet a threshold. The intent is to protect private life of the individuals against arbitrary interference by public authorities and private organizations such as the media. Competitive intelligence, or CI, refers to the legal and ethical collection, analysis, and dissemination of information about business products, markets, pricing, and plans. Competitive intelligence, or CI, is information that has been legally found and analyzed. It does not involve industrial espionage or commercial spying. Closed source data can be available from both government and private sources. In simple terms, it is closed source data if the data is not meant to be open publicly. Closed source data, because of its origin, are often considered more accurate and reliable. May or may not be true, though. Closed source typically includes material such as government classified information, proprietary business information, law enforcement data, educational records, banking records, and medical records. In general, closed source data are obtained and distributed from sources that are marked. Do not make this information available to the public. Government classified information is guarded with such markings. It is marked with a security, something like classified, secret, etc., typically put on by the source of the information. Proprietary is a term used by business. It is closed source information that is often used interchangeably with the term trade secret. Examples of proprietary information include manufacturing information, marketing information, financial data, and research and development information. Generally, data is termed proprietary by the owner so they can limit who can view it and see the contents. 
There's some interesting circumstances that happen, though, between the open and closed source worlds. Take, for example, an open source system, potentially a satellite, that's flying over a car factory and using that imagery to count the cars coming off the production line. So this is covered by the open skies doctrine that the U.S. tends to follow. There is no standard used by business for determining what is proprietary. The nature of what is held proprietary varies from industry and individual business practice. If the information does not seem to be readily available, it should be considered proprietary and not for public use. Thank you for viewing this lesson. This lesson we discussed the need for intelligence requirements process, the high-level data collection strategies and sources, and the advantages and disadvantages of the sources. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you in lesson four.